Hello YouTube, this is Dawn from Dare to be Creative and I am here today with the tiny little doll from the Dollar Tree. I was at a Dollar Tree about 45 minutes from my home and I stopped in um, just because they always have like the neatest organized book section. Like their stores usually really, really well put together and so I just like going there when I get a chance. I don't always remember when I go that way to do that but I decided to go in and I'm glad I did because I did find some of these they had a ton of these there I mean a ton but I only got two um I don't like the fact these are so cute and I love that you can you know sit it that way or sit it up that way but what I don't like about it and sorry about the noise is that these do not screw on so you know the top can fall off I don't like that um but it's a buck well excuse me a dollar and a quarter so I guess I still should be happy it's still very cute it's very attractive um and you can store a lot of different colorful things or items in here just to grab real quick from off of your um dresser or your bookshelf or your table or whatever you know I'm just saying that you can put it in multiple different places um so I just got two because I really didn't have a need for either one. I couldn't think of what I, at the moment what I wanted it for, but I want to leave it because I'm like, oh, I'm not going to be back this way anytime soon. But I didn't want to um, get too many because I couldn't think of what it, where I was going to put them. So I only got two. Um, and then they had some patterns. So this is a tote sewing project. And um, they talk about upcycling using a vinyl tablecloth or colorful towel. Makes a great shopping of beach tote. And then, um, that's the examples on the back. And then this one was the teddy bear. It says memory bear. And this one's called, yeah, tote. This is called memory bear. And on the back it says combine old clothes or blankets and a heart cut from iron on patch fabric to create an heirloom. Give your bear personality with ribbon, flowers, and other pretty add-ons. And this one says add some whimsy. Um, add some whimsy with iron on patches and clip on flowers. So they give you some ways to decorate it. And this is an apron. Of course, like everybody learns how to make an apron if you take like home ec. <laughs> like that's one of the, it's very simple and basic um, pattern. Excuse me. And so it says tablecloth, sheet, or curtain can make a great apron. Make a statement using die cut iron on transfer vinyl. So, of course, but you can get some of that from the Dollar Tree. I did get two of these only because I was thinking, you know, I should have really opened it up. I was thinking it was like a regular um, pattern, but it's on, you know, more like a newspaper versus on the traditional pattern. What I will say, if you do get this, note that you, you might want to get two because you have to cut this out. And if you're going to cut it out, you've got to cut one side and cut the other side. So, not sure why they did that other than they're saving paper and saving money. But you're not going to be able to cut the foot out without cutting out the chin. So, you're going to need two of these patterns. But, for $2.50, still a lot cheaper. Um, or, you can buy one and trace it out on the other side. Excuse me, and then that way you can have the other piece but I have to buy a second one. But the instructions seem to be simple, um, easy to follow. Um, so I think, you know, even a novice, somebody who's, you know, you can sew a straight line, pretty sure you can make this. It's not too complex. These are some of your simpler type patterns. It's a, you know, sewer, seamstress. I'm not a seamstress, but I'm a sewer. <laughs> um, would be able to do. I do like sewing. That was my first craft was sewing, but haven't really done that in years. But I did always want to get back to doing a little bit of it. I really want to do a quilt, but I just can't afford another habit. Oh, I don't have the space either. More so the space than the money. But anyway, um, I did get this fabric, you know, because it just had my colors on it. So I had to get it. It was red and black. Then I got this one, and this one has, um, it says Girl Boss, Nope, and Dream Big, 
neat coffee hug superstar and this one says look glamorous she sews she knows oh, that's cute and oh if she sews she knows excuse me yeah so that's what that one says and then this is just some tie-dye they had a whole bunch of colors i put pictures up there the different stuff they had butterflies that bicycles that sl um let's say slugs snails that's snails though sloths <laughs> um and then um is sunflowers so i like sunflowers if there's some in my garden i mean not my garden but my backyard um but anyway i got some of that to hopefully make one of these projects but we'll see but anyway thank you so much for liking watching and subscribing and i dare you to be creative take care god bless bye bye